action. Hey guys, so I'm here in the beautiful sunny Malula bar and I thought I'd share with you a cool little gelato or nice cream slash ice cream vegan version of vegan version of mango sorbet. Yeah, sorbet, there we go. It's a sorbet. So I'm going to show you how to make a cool mango and coconut slash cashew sorbet that takes two seconds to do and it tastes really nice and it's a healthier version than buying it say from the store that has all the other sugars and additives to it. So you're basically going to need either one cup of coconut milk or I'm going to use both cashew and coconut milk today. So I'm going to use half and half and then you're going to need about 500 grams of frozen mango. And then you're just going to pop it into the blender, blend it up in your blender over there and then leave it to sit in the freezer to harden for 30 to 60 minutes or more. So let's get to it. So mine are just rough guesstimations today because I don't have any of my utensils that I have at home. So this may be more, this may be less than a cup. Looks a bit more. And then I've already started snacking a little bit on the mango. So there's a little bit less than 500 grams, but it's about 400 or so. So it's mainly, most of it's in there. There's lots in there. And this is what I'm going to use to freeze it in and after. So that's what it looks like, all good to go. You can actually use a sweetener like Argway, Arguave, I'm not sure how to say that. Okay. All right, down the bottom, Argave syrup. Or you can use stevia or another natural sweetener, like maple syrup or something. I actually don't have any of that with me today. So mine is purely going to be sweetened by the fruit. So it is tip top healthy today. I'm going to blend it up in the blender and basically until it's nice and creamy and mixed in together. All done. So it's a bit runnier. I think I added a bit much milk. It will, start, it will freeze up in the fridge. So now I'm going to pour it. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Just what you want. So now I'm going to pour that into my container. My ice cream container. Mmm, it's nice. I've been licking the leftovers. So good. Now I'm just going to pop that into the freezer for 30 to 60 minutes or until it is set. And I shall see you, see you, I shall see you in that amount of time. However long it takes. I'll be back. Get down here. I feel like it's very fitting next to the Wee Spas, my little healthy version, compared to the one from the store. I'm done. So I actually had to leave it for a day or more, probably more than a day, just because our fridge was on a low setting so it took ages for the sorbet to set and then it came to the night and I just slept through it so I ended up leaving it a little bit longer than needed. So it's a bit icier than you would normally have it but it still tastes amazing. It's so refreshing. So it's a really simple recipe, you guys can just pick up it in seconds, super easy to do. I hope you guys like it. If you do try it, please share with me below in the comments what you think of it. I'll share my playlist right here for you guys to check out future recipes, or well not future recipes, past recipes that I've done in the in the past. If you want to check out that and see more of those, otherwise I hope to see you in another video of mine. Bye.